What's up guys? I got another work order here for a train CGAM. This is a 70 ton chiller. The work order came in as the chiller was going into an alarm and the alarm was uh, circuit 2 loss of charge. Let's see if we got any other history here. Vap water flow lost. Uh, they've already reset this before I got here. So now that one said circuit one was. Let's go back. <clears throat> yep, circuit two today. All right, so we're gonna open this up and uh, you know, just put some gauges on there first, just to make sure that it's not flat on it. Yes, it is reading pressure there. That's not working. Uh, ports. Let's see, circuit two. <clears throat> we are reading 135 psi, and circuit one is running 115. All right, let's get this open and take a look. So. No doubt the air handler is working. This is our condensate for the air handler. It's on the other side of this wall here. Uh, this serves a big uh, like auditorium. All right, chiller just cycling off. On, uh, water temperature. And what they did tell me was, I guess they had a power surge or something. And it tripped the pump starter, so. Uh, so we had uh, loss of water flow. So just looking in here, I mean, this looks kind of wet and oily. So we might want to do a little leak check here first. Um, definitely a little dirty on the condenser coils. So let me get the leak detector and we'll take a look at that first. All right. Fill piece hooked up here. It is a little windy out here today, so we got a lot of noise in the camera. Forgive me. Chiller so just came back on. And this looks wet. This could be residual from something previous. Hopefully it's not these condenser end tubes. Oh, wait, I see some more wetness down here. Yeah, let me open that up. Definitely looks wet. These valves look horrible. Pretty rotted out. Hmm. Definitely something going on up here.
sunset spot. All right, so I cleaned that oil and stuff off here and uh, just sprayed it down with some soapy water. It's definitely hitting hard here. And now you want to make a fire, right? set on medium but this pipe for sure so it looks pretty corroded expecting to find a bunch of little micro leaks there and definitely at this angle the back side you'd think these things would be going off but, uh, as bad as they look Nothing. And this is actually the circuit that's running, circuit one. Two is the one that had the loss of charge alarm, but I haven't reset that yet. Or even put any gauges on here. I just, I like to do this first before I uh, put any gauges on, crack any valves. Soak this up again now that it's got all that dirt off it. Alright, I finally found that leak. It's actually a leak. Right there. Let's see it coming out here. So that's on circuit one. Um, so two, I guess we'll put the gauges on there. Um, that could just be a, a sensor off or something, but I guess we'll start it up and see how it runs. Yep, that cap looks oily. Almost looks like there's some refrigerant bubbling out of there right now. I'll just turn the leak detector off, of course. That's so windy here. Yeah, you can see it bubbling out. And this had those uh, locking refrigerant caps on them, which are garbage. Um, so maybe we can just tighten this up. Let's see. Back it off here. Just tighten. So we'll uh, swap out that Schrader. All right, circuit two just came back on. And it says we have 122. Uh, close to what we got. Circuit one, let's see, circuit two is uh, 24. All right, so the gate reading to discharge came up to 300. We're still reading about 312 on the screen over there. Circuit one just went into a loss of charge alarm and uh, they said that we know what happens. Most likely because it's low on refrigerant. I was just checking my temperature sensors to see how they were reading for refrigerant and suction temp and it went into alarm. All right, so I've added some refrigerant to circuit one, and currently 
saturated 41, suction temperature is 53. Uh, AXV is about 60% open now. So it's at about 12 degrees. Super heat. Seems to be staying online. We've got 54 entering, 47 leaving. And circuit 2 is just went off on a uh, EXV com loss fault. So we got a lot going on there today. Looks like glass cleared up better. But that, that is the one that's leaving the most right there. So, ordering uh, valves, dryers. Hopefully, not in the UXP. cables too. It's uh, having a short and closing that. That's the first time I've seen the comm loss today. That one. I've been around in here moving things around though, so that's very possible. Alright, the uh, circuit one seems to be holding its own. Uh, we're 52.8 entering VAP and 45.8 leaving. Got 39 saturated refrigerant that matched with my gauge readings, and suction temp was 51, which also matched with my temperature reading. So, um, still going to order some sensors and uh, get those leaks fixed and get this thing cleaned up. Uh, it's needed a little attention. So. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, catch you in the next video. Probably have one on uh, doing the repairs here.